Hi everyone, welcome to the Go Losaru channel here at YouTube. It's been a while since I've done a long video and today we're gonna do the Super Saiyan God Son Goku unboxing video and review. So let's get started. For the people that like to keep their figures in the box, here's a quick uh, overview of the box itself. As you can see the side panels, then the back of the box itself, it's, you know, you can see all the information, the warning labels, where it's made and you know the awesome pictures that they've done and then the other side view and the front of the box which looks pretty good and now for the people that like to enjoy their figures let me get this out of the box again i already opened it by the way as you can see i already did a short video for everyone that likes enjoys my my short content um so i'm pretty much i put everything back and you know, I'm gonna do an unboxing again of the figure now in this long video. And as you can see, it's a $35 figure. Um, the $35 Goku usually doesn't come with a lot of accessories. It usually comes with extender um, hands, accessories, three face plates, and you know, overall it's, for $35 it's actually, it's actually good, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, back in the day, a Goku like this would have cost you like $60, $70. So to be a $35 uh, Goku ain't that bad either. This is the third version of their Super Saiyan God Goku. This is the most affordable one because the first one, this is what I'm saying, the first one cost around $60 back in the day, but right around seven or eight years ago. Again, I might be wrong, but um, that was around $60. And since it, it was a very, uh, I think it was a web exclusive, which means that it, you know, they become rare after a certain time. Um, they, it came, it came back. I mean, it starts like increasing in price where you can see this guy, the first edition back in the day before this one was released, this guy was around $200. That was about three years ago. Then the Nation released the web exclusive, which I have it, but I don't have it in hand. I have it somewhere in, 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 in my boxes. And then we have this guy right here, which is $35. It's very affordable for people that are just starting to collect uh, any Goku figures. And uh, yeah, let's get going with this review, shall we? For accessories, like I said, we only have three face plates uh, right here. And I don't know if it's focused right there three face plates right there then we have a um four, four pair of hands which is the 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 standard the standard uh, hands for for this kind of goku which is you know the the palm like you know when he's just about to do a key blast and then one when he's grabbing the key blast maybe like about to do a kamehameha and then the you know when he's doing his art more martial artist uh pose sorry you know spanglish and then one where he's just doing a, a karate, you know, like chop. So, and then let me start putting, and you know, to put the face plates is, it's quite easy. You just pull the hair out and then you just pull it out. And that's how you see it on the, on the figure. And then you just pick the one, your favorite one. This is not my favorite one. This is the first one I actually reach. And then you put it back and uh, back in there. What do you guys think? That I love the expressions and this version right here has the most side eye side uh, gestures in the face plates. Um, some people in the short told me that they don't like them, uh, but we barely get any of those. So uh, to me personally, I don't have any problem, but you know, some people, they're very nitpicky about it. Uh, I know there's a, a third party company that is going to do a, uh, a head sculpt for this uh, Goku, which has better hair and better uh, facial expressions. So maybe you should try that, you know, maybe buy this guy and then buy the the um, the, the kit. I think you can find it at 5ktoys.com for pre-order and it looks pretty good too. So, you know, maybe you can go to that route. This is a 2.0 uh, Goku body and it's been in the market for about eight years, seven years, what I, what I, you know, what I remember. I think I started collecting around 2017. 
Uh, I started collecting SS figures at, at, at the end of 2017. I was already collecting, you know, all the stuff, statues and whatnot. Uh, again, um, for the articulation, uh, we have this uh, app crunch, which doesn't go that far. That's as much as it go in the front. And then it goes really good on the back. Let me see if I can grab it right there. So you, you don't have that much range. I know you can do a, 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 um, a modification that you can just, um, cut a piece of plastic in inside the inside this figure and you you can extend it the um, the range quite a bit and you can do some cool poses about it then you have bend in the in the elbow it goes this far and then you have your uh, your your hand which goes up and down and and it rotates so that's that's how much extension you have right there and then for a butterfly joint you have this much range, which uh, it will help you to do a Kamehameha pose. And then this is what I don't like about the 2.0 version. It used to be quite nice back in the day, but now it's kind of dated to me. And it's this uh, shoulder pieces that, you know, it can just cut off the, the sculpting. Unless you're posing it, then it doesn't look as bad. But um, the fact that it's, you know, it can get loose and I don't know, it just doesn't, to me personally, it's just something that Tamashi Nature's might need to improve in the next um, 3.0 body for, for this kind of Goku. I know the Monaco Fit is doing a great, a, a fantastic job with their uh, uh, base uh, Goku and man, Tamashi, needs, Tamashi Nation needs to step it up. But anyway, and you have this much uh, range on the head going up and then going down. Always be careful with this section right here. Before you do any any uh, type of like um, pose, make sure that this, this, this piece right here, let me see if I can go back and focus it more. Right there. That these, this, this part right here, the neck back is actually uh, aligned with, with, the, the way that you're gonna move the figure. Cause if you do a wrong move, you might end up breaking it. So just be careful. Always check that area before you do any type of uh, posing, all right? Now we have the rotation on the waist, which is, you know, pretty standard nowadays. And uh, and then the legs can kick up to this, this amount. I know you can kick even more. No, that's about it. This is how much the kick will rise. And then bend on the knee. And then you got your um, swivel on the, on, the, on the foot. And then, you know, you can also have this um, bend on the, on the toes, which is quite nice for, for cool poses too. And then you do that too as well. And for people that like, I don't know, this, this, how, this is the range going hidden in, in the back, which is, which is okay. I don't, yeah, I mean, some people like to do some weird poses. So here, I'm just showing you the, the articulation section, extension of the articulation. And uh, then you have a swivel here on the, on the, on the thigh, which is quite nice too. And then you have this uh, little plastic pieces, which is like the butt pieces. Yeah, look at that, go cool, jiggly, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's all the articulation that you have in this Goku, and um, I mean, it's not it's not bad. I mean, it's a thirty five dollar figure, like I said. I mean, we're buying Marvel Legends uh, that are cost twenty five dollars, and they have very little articulation, and they haven't changed their their like mold for now in, in quite a while, and we're still buying them. So uh, having this Goku, it's you know not a bad idea to, especially if you don't have the original one here. Also, with a quick side comparison, I mean, they look about the same. Just the color difference here and there. I mean, a big color difference. This more, this more look like a, I don't know, like a more uh, yellowish orange. And this is just full, full orange. I think this is the colors for, from the, you know, the Dragon Ball, uh, I would say Broly movie. The colors, again, not the gi, the gi is different. Uh, I know 
I know for sure it's it's, it's a difference because I have the Super Saiyan Blue Goku and I can tell it's it's different. So if you want to change the hands, I would definitely encourage you to uh, dip this uh, figure in hot water or use a hair dryer to soften the, the hands so you don't break the, the um, uh, wrist peg or the, the hand peg right here. But uh, since I'm doing this quick video, I'm just going to do it as, as I would not do it myself. Like I just, I just pull it out like that. Again, I encourage people or kids or anyone that is watching this. Just put it on hot water for like a minute. Just dip the, 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 the hand and this thing will soften and then you can just pull it out safely and you won't be breaking your figure at all. So let me see, let me put a, let me put a, a, a hand up. Let's see, man, I don't even know which hand goes with what. Maybe it goes here and then I pull this one here. See that, that, that sound of like, puck. Uh, you, I mean, I'm pretty much stressing that the peg, although the peg here looks actually uh, bigger than what it used to be back in the day. So here's my, my, my hands. Let me see if I can do a pose really quick here. Um, you know, let's, uh, Goku pose where he just, oh, that one came up. Let's see. Yeah, you gotta be, I mean, when I do shorts, it, it's usually the posing. For the figures takes me the longest like actually not like unboxing it and every and all the effects that i do it's actually easy but actually making the poses of goku um uh, they do take some time you know but uh, here's a quick one where he's just you know like doing a, a battle pose or like about to kind of like when he's uh fighting in in dragon ball fighters video game the fighting game but here's a quick one right here to just show you that Although this is an older body, you can definitely pose this Goku. I mean, you can definitely get some cool poses with, with this figure. And like I said, $35. I mean, not bad. You can get, uh, I got this figure at ramfancollectibles.com, but uh, I know the this figure is gonna start hitting uh, Walmarts and Targets pretty soon. So if you were able to, you know, tell, if you're able to get it, get it anywhere you can and just add it to your collection, you're not going to be disappointed. Here's another pose that I did, you know, just Goku kicking up, which is, you know, quite easy. You have that nice range of articulation. So it goes like right there. And then if you put it on a nice stand, on a Tamashii Nation stand, um, I mean, you can just display it like that as well. Let me see if I can pull up some, some something else here. Man, I'm always going back to that to that uh, to that uh, post that I did at the beginning. It just looks so good. I mean, I mean that's that's probably how I'm gonna end up posting it on my display. You know what? Let me do the Kamehameha. That way I can show you the extension of the butter the butterfly extension actually. That again, I might take your time again. I mean. Posing figures like that, it takes some time. It takes some, you know, knowledge. I'm, I would say I'm, I'm kind of like beginner um, on posing my figures. I know there's great uh, content creators. They do amazing things with their, with their figures, and you know they just do some amazing poses uh, uh, like that. So here's the Kamehameha. Let me see if I can just extend it a little bit more. Get that pushing that butterfly to the. To the max, as you can see. Also, you have to work your your camera angles too. Like if you want to make them look really good, I know what is a Lito collector and Wayne Wayne collectors. That the, those are two of my favorite uh, content creators. They push the 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 you know the the limit in. On, the, on how to pose figures, but they also use some cool, nice, uh, some cool um, camera angles and they just make the, the figure just stand out with the pose. So it's a little bit of posing and a little bit of camera angle, but there's, there's one doing the Kamehameha. I think, you know, when he does it to Varys on the uh, 
Battle of the Gods, or to Broly, but here it goes. And uh, next, let's do some uh, size comparisons with other figures within the SH Figure Arts and the Monaco Fit line, shall we? All right, let me show you a size, com a size comparison with other um, uh, action figures within the Dragon Ball. So right now we have um, Broly, as you can see, he's massive. Let me go back a little bit. And then focus on, there you go, perfect. That's Broly and the other one, what I think is uh, one of my favorite Dragon Ball GT figures, uh, Goku, of course. SH Figure Arts, uh, Goku Super Saiyan 4. And they don't look bad bad together. Look at that. They look nice. Good size. You know, they're pretty similar within the Gokus. And again, he's just smaller compared to Broly. And then we have another one. His arch enemy, Goku Black, the SH Figure Arts uh, version. And then we have the other Goku Black from the Dragon Ball Heroes. He's the Xenoverse uh, Goku Black. If I'm if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments. I mean, I don't remember much of Dragon Ball Heroes, but he was a pretty cool enemy in that in that uh, little anime clips that they you know that they were showing in YouTube, and they look pretty good, pretty awesome together. At last, let me show you Vegeta, the one from the Namek and the one from the Android Saga, as you can see here. And it looks so nice, you know, the, the, the scaling is, you know, fairly accurate. Um, also, have you noticed something different between those two Vegeta figures? Do you, can you tell me in the comments? I'm gonna count to like three and then I'll tell you what the difference is, okay? One, two, three. The boots. I swapped them. Why? Because the Android Saga Vegeta that was shown in the manga and anime had the white boots. And uh, and I wanted to wanted to have a Vegeta with that aesthetic. So I decided to do that. And the best boots that match the color of of, of this Vegeta were the Namek one. So I end up swapping them to uh, swapping them out, and I mean this video looks nice with, with those boots. I'm not gonna lie, but I know it's not accurate per se. But again, um, it, it, it's my collection, so I do whatever I want. You can do whatever you want with your figures as well. So, and also I have a Tonson Arts um, head sculpt on the Android Saga Vegeta. and it looks pretty good. Uh, you can find it on om OmniMenStore.com. And uh, yeah, it's about $35 uh, for, the, for this head scope. It looks quite nice. So I hope you like this uh, quick size comparison. And let's, ba let's go back to the end of the video. Final thoughts about these um, uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, uh, should definitely, you should definitely get it. It's again, like I've been saying in the past, you know, five or six minutes, it's very affordable, $35, $36. Um, you know, you get a lot of, you don't get a lot of things accessory wise, but at least you get an, an expensive, um, dra you know, Super Saiyan God, uh, figure compared to the one in the back. Uh, but you get another chance and you own this amazing, uh, transformation, which kind of started at the whole Dragon Ball Super. I think again, I might be wrong. I'm just pulling information out of, out of my head of what I remember. I might be wrong, I might be right, who knows? Again, that's what, that's where you guys come along and help me out in the comment section to, you know, um, fact check. So uh, this is a great addition to your collection. Or if you're starting to um, collect Dragon Ball figures, don't go for the old ones. I always tell people, never, never buy a figure that is more than, more than, never buy a figure that is six or seven years old because Tamashi Nations will always release a new one at an affordable price and with uh, better articulation or more better updates or head sculpts or face plates that are they look far better than what they used to look seven years ago. Okay, so that's my tip. 
and you know i hope you like this video i hope you like this quick review this quick overlook of the figure and how it looks with other um s figure arts again thank you for watching this video and you know if you want me to keep doing this long uh, videos please let me know your suggestions what do you want to see um in the future uh, what do you want me to take on like what do you want me to show you as far as articulation as far as design as far as uh, size comparison yeah I'll, I'll take that to heart you know and i read all your comments so please make sure to leave a like subscribe leave me a comment i read them all i really love you guys um interactions you guys you know they you just um you know sometimes i'm kind of depressed and i you know i go to the comment sections and you guys are like arguing about stuff and i jump in and you know we just like to have a good discussion i like to you know just poke fun and and i just you know like to hang out with you guys so please uh leave a comment let me know what you think about this goku figure and again i'll see you next time bye